I think 2012 is going to be extraordinarily different. In, in 2010, the Tea Party movement was really a nascent movement with very little experience electorally. Now you have leaders on the ground all across the country in virtually every community that have been through a primary season, they've been through a general election, they understand the process, they understand how to organize, they have more sophisticated tools. And I think the biggest difference you're going to see is they're going to be dramatically engaged in the primaries on both sides of the aisle, Tea Partiers on, on both sides of the aisle. If you look at statistics in 2010, only four incumbents in the House lost their seats in their primaries. Most Americans don't realize that number. When we ask people how many, how many incumbents do you think lost their seats in the primaries in the House in 2010, I hear usually between 40 and 70 is the number that the average citizen thinks lost their seats in the primary. So we have a system right now that I would describe as the incumbency protection system. And we actually have a two-party political system. It's called the incumbents versus the citizens. Everything is designed to keep the incumbent in office. Campaign finance laws, the primaries themselves. Most citizens in this country don't even know when the primary is in their own state. And I would argue that's by design because the incumbents don't really want you voting in the primary because they only have something to lose. And so what we have now is people who know when their primaries are, local Tea Parties who are engaged in finding candidates on both sides of the aisle, vetting candidates that are out there. And you're going to see, I think, massive turnover in the primaries and a much larger turnover in the general election than we saw in 2010.